Hello my friends, welcome. And the reason I have the camera pointed up against the wall towards the ceiling is because I wanted to tell you that in this video I'm going to show you a recent addition to Jeb Adams channel here with a sewing, a new, another sewing machine. Uh, of course I say it's a new sewing machine but it's but it's uh, it's a vintage sewing machine, so it's from the last century. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, is it a 306K? Well, tell you what. Let's take a closer look at the model number. And it's right down there. Thing. It's got the beautiful stitch lever, stitch levers, what people quite often call the piano keys and there is a little bit of wear on the top decal there's also this handle which is quite handy that's very 301's have a handle uh, you know handle you can put up and down and I do have a 301 and this is a this is virtually the same as a as a 306k except for this device here that's the addition but apart from that um, these sewing machines are, are just like the 306K and Jeb Adams has four 306Ks so should I need parts there are many parts I want to check inside the gear and the gear that's in here is the, the hook shaft gear and the hook driving rod gear so I'm going to take off these two screws right here. I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to get these screw holes and then I'm just going to throw some oil on there. They're going to get some grease too. Grease is time to lay oil. And so there's a, a shaft. The hook shaft goes down to a meshed gear and that matches up with the meshed gear that is on here going around and this is the rod that that turns the the bobbin case the, the hook not the bobbin case because the bobbin case basically stays stationary everything turns around it and under it so that's good we got that let me put a little bit of oil on there but so that's pretty cool. You know, it's it's not a terrifically dirty machine. It's a little grubby, a little grimy. The story that I got from the lady is that, and the lady was my age or a little older, and I'm going on 66. And this machine came from her, through her husband, from, it was originally her husband's grandmother's. It did not come with the original 24 fashion discs or cams or whatever and so they're gone you know I mean the machine is old it was made in the in the 50s so it's uh, it's just a little older than me and I'm almost 66 so yeah I'm excruciatingly happy with this beautiful machine the other thing that I would like to let you know is that this lady had it taken into a sewing uh, machine repair shop in December. Please bear with me. But this is what they did. And there was remarks, indications, indications not used in a long time. And it's complete four-step tune-up sewing machine. Delinted and oiled the machine. Check adjust bobbin winder. Well, we do delinting and oiling here. We check and adjust bobbing winder. Check adjust hook timing. I haven't done that on a video yet. Check adjust feed timing, and I haven't done that on a video yet. Check adjust needle bar height. I haven't done that on a video yet. Reset lower and upper tensions. I have done that. Check and adjust pendulum swing. No. Check and adjust feed dock height. I haven't adjusted it. Zero feed regulator. No, I haven't done that. Replace needles. Yes. Stitch test the machine. If I if they're working, I will test them. So 
it was 160 bucks Canadian for the machine. But the, late, the dear lady that I bought it from, she spent a hun, a, just under 125 bucks Canadian. She spent 122 dollars and 59 cents. So at the very most, she made like 30 bucks or 40 bucks or something. So what exactly did I get? Oh, okay, there was a cam. Well, I got one cam, uh, and these are these are the accessories. So they're not very. So I didn't get a lot of the original stuff, that's what I'm saying. You know, I got the machine, uh, it's in great condition and it's been serviced and, and it works. So it's an old machine and uh, it has a cool little history. Uh, I got it out of a garage, so I think it's been sitting in a garage for a number of years. And, uh, but anyway, I'm really pleased and like I say, it's ready to sew. I'm not going to sew with it right now. I want to do a a test run a little later, but I just wanted to show you guys this wonderful new machine that we're going to be able to uh, have some fun with. So thank you my friends and uh, see you soon. Stay healthy. Ciao amigos.